That's two partners you lost. Your partner died. Ah, 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 ah. Dude, that is the best dead scene ever. No. Oh, oh. Thank you very, 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 I need very, 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 Thanks for the money, dummies. Am I poisoned? Why am I toxic? Fuck everyone else. Stop supporting these retarded, worthless betas. Look here! Look! Oh Offered by... I told you to buy the figure. <gasps> oh my god. Wrong. No. That was it. In these mines, the word salary comes from salt or salarium. The ancient Romans were paid in salt. I am not Wings of fucking Redemption. You can't tell. I look nothing like the fucking guy, and I certainly don't act like him. So why the fuck you gotta repeat everything about him in my chat because he banned you? Sorry, but it's not all fucking night. Please. Be respectful. Episode 7, this is episode 80. It's episode 79, the 79th episode of Ask the King. I've been running this show. Crap. I'm trying to remember actually when I started Ask the King. I can't even remember. Um, I, I want to say like 20... 2011 maybe um so a show has been running over eight years and 80 episodes right pretty awesome um next couple of years i might hit episode 100 holy shit but anyway thank you guys for being here it is turkey day also known as thanksgiving here in the united states it is a nasty saving this food and having lots of leftovers we already have at least one major meal plan that's just leftovers and i'm sure we're gonna be having many more moving forward that are leftovers in this so good stuff a big big hearty feast uh, for Thanksgiving for us and with lots of leftovers and everything um, you know for, for a future meal which is pretty great so that's what we're eating now what am I thankful for I mean holy crap do I have a ton of things to be thankful for I'm thankful for my loving family my beautiful supportive wife Kat my pet Jasper who was, you guys got introduced to this this year uh, there really was no online play at that point yet and so in a lot of ways the Dreamcast was pretty much a nail in the coffin when it came to uh, console games, or excuse me, uh, arcade games. At the same time, it really was just an amazing, groundbreaking achievement that you could play that quality game at home. Um, if you watch those videos, you're like, oh my god, look at Phil, he was like so much heavier back then. Yeah, I was like 40 pounds heavier back then. My face is all bloated, my body, you know, I'm like, I don't look anything like that. Um... But yeah, what, I, what you see me wear on the stream is not representative of what I wear off the stream. It's just because I think you're doing work is different. I've also noticed this. When you talk all day, your body heats up. I've noticed that, that like, I'd be cold and all of a sudden I'll be in here playing games, talking with you guys. And my body heat naturally rises while I'm in here for some reason. Um, and then if I'm just like in the house relaxing, my body heat goes down. So that's another thing, like you'll be wearing heavy sweaters and stuff when you're talking and moving constantly. You're already hot. You are already hot. <laughs> to be that motivational person for all of you. And it's tough, you know, as someone who has suffered from depression in the past and has feelings come back. Some some days there's good reason for it, and other days it'll just come back for no fucking reason, you know. It's tough it's, it's really tough on a day when I want to feel like I'm making a positive difference, and then you get people who come and just hammer in negativity at you on a stream all day long. People who don't understand that would. <laughs> Fucked up. It also happens. It actually is realistic and happens in a lot of parts of the world. And if anything, what I would say is the com campaign of modern warfare um, kind of reminded me of how lucky we are to live in the world that we live in in the United States and to be protected from having to see those kind of horrors on a daily basis. We don't have that kind of shit that happens that much. You, know, you don't have children who murder people, people's parents being murdered in front of them and having to become killers themselves and stuff. It's pretty fucked up. Not to say we don't have fucked up stuff that happens in our country, we do. But you see what I'm saying? Like, there's, there's watching the Ghostbusters movie. I could probably do commentary over because I know the movie from start to finish and I could do all kinds of, you know, stuff on it. But... A movie I've never seen before would probably be a lot tougher. In addition, that's a lot of time investment. 
you know? Oh, today Phil's not going to stream because he's watching a movie and doing commentary over the movie. You see what I mean? Um, what a lot of people don't realize is when they ask me to do all these, these things outside of the stream, where's the time come? I, I have six days a week I'm here all day long streaming with a couple hours outside to spend with my wife. That's it, you know? Like, that's my day. And then one day a week I get to spend with my wife not streaming. So unless I clone myself, I don't know when I would have time to do these outside projects. I, I grooves or isms or whatever the hell they called them because I can't remember. Broke the game and made the game not fun to play after like a few sessions. I just didn't want to play it anymore because it was not fun. As for Samurai Showdown, quite frankly, I'll be honest with you. Samurai Showdown was kind of like a franchise that back in the day, in the 90s, it had shock factor popularity. What I mean by that is that was the era you had Street Fighter, you had Mortal Kombat, you had Killer Instinct, you had um, spin-offs like Primal Rage and stuff like that. Then you had the King of Fighters series. Now, what I, a lot of people said, will you ever do stuff like that in the future? I'm not against doing actual, candid, realistic, fair interviews with people. I never was. I don't know why people would want to talk to me, though. Like, I feel like, how relevant am I, right? I'm 37 years old. Yes, I've done YouTube for 11 years. I've done live streaming full-time for two and a half years. You want to talk to me about those topics? Great. But outside of that, you know, I think that there's a lot of people who are maybe much bigger than me. Those are the people you'd want to talk to. Why do anyone want to talk to them? Um, I, I would say this year, what I've done is I became a lot more of a laid-back guy. I stopped getting all uptight and raging about every little thing that happened. Um, this year, although admittedly there have been times when things kind of happened that I need your help, it wasn't always about the sky is falling or anything like that. Um, you know, and a lot of times that meant kind of hiding things from you guys in the background, but at the same time, I think that that actually helped. Just being it's real, having this, this private life that's separate from what I share with you guys on a daily basis. So it's tough, but I find a way to do it. Um, <clears throat> well, thank you, Propane Key, for a dollar tip. He says, I know, I want to say you're not a bad guy. I appreciate that. Very much. All right, guys, well, we're going to just take a break. If you're watching on stream, it'll be like a 10, 15 minute break. If you're watching on YouTube, it's just going to be a separate part coming up. So let's take a short break. Stream them. You guys are going to enjoy them, and we're going to get longevity, and we're going to get content out of it. I can't, it's not like it used to be where I could buy a game, oh, I hate it, and drop it, and never play it again. I have to make sure that my money is wisely spent. Um, so it's tough, because I'll give you an example recently, um, you know, Death Stranding, this was a game that no one knew what the hell this game was going to be, and finally when the reviews came out, even I couldn't resist reading reviews for it, because I was so interested in what the hell is this game really, um, that I wanted to know before I played it. So in that case, yeah, I kind of gave myself a, a preconceived notion of what the game was going to be because I read all these reviews. Although, I'll be honest, I didn't agree with a lot of the reviews. I think a lot of the reviews were super harsh, and a lot of the reviews were super kind of ass-kissy. And I'm kind of in the middle, where I kind of like, I ride the fence on this one because I think there were games about the game I liked things I didn't. So, it's very tough. It's very tough. Back in the day... When I was the big shot YouTuber, I was the guy who, oh, Phil's the guy who plays the games on release day earlier than everyone, finishes them quickly, gets a review out right away, so we could trust Phil to be the, the authority on if the game's good or not. Um, it didn't matter if I rushed and played every single game and bought every single game, because I could afford it. I can't do that anymore. Um, <clears throat> if things could be like they were back in the day, okay, um, really, if I could be like that, I wish I could, but it's not like that anymore, you know, um, I'm not a full-time YouTuber, I'm, I'm a full-time streamer, I have to make sure I'm doing stuff on stream that you guys like, and we both like, so that it's, it's fun content, uh, I can't afford to buy all the games, so, in the modern era, Black Spawn, I feel that these reviews may, uh, be helpful, but at the, I'll just pay for honest work, fuck you, I don't do honest work, asshole, only suckers do, <laughs> Only soccer works in the to Lady, people are free to go whenever they wish. Meanwhile. All day, trolls just drill me all day, all day. Seriously, this is the most frustrating fucking game of the year because Kojima's a fucking asshole. Now my controller don't even work. I slammed it so hard. Ah! That's my controller right now. Excellent. <laughs> so
Stop doing that. I just looked at my table and I realized slamming the controller down, I have all these not big... Jeez, I swear to God, you freaking... You Jews, you Mexicans, you Asians are so demanding. Worthless specimen, get that ass banned.